a young artist representing our times is using techniques from the past why a new age artist who churns her mind and her hands and her aesthetics is creating magic on paper here we present to you today priyanka de souza's wonderful work how to unromanticize the anthropocene one hey look fishes <laughs> look more fishes wow this is a persian miniature painting uh, oh wait uh, i'll explain hi i'm priyanka de souza and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to art history plus hi this is webhav from art history plus youtube tells us that 70% of you have not yet subscribed so please do also now let's dive into the deep end hold your breath yeah even though you're not underwater the air is toxic around you i'm sure this is serious a preoccupation with concerns for the environment is romanticized here and presented in a grave way right back at us a painting weaving stories and studies from persia hawaii baroda the deep oceans <laughs> and priyanka's universe of course we begin with the mythical tale of bahamut from the 13th century cosmological encyclopedia called marvels of creatures and strange things existing it deals with the evergreen inquiry into god's existence yeah god how do we know god exists the text answers it by giving us a version in which the earth that we reside in is supported by a bull which is standing on a mountain of ruby under which is the angel which is then succeeded by a huge giant fish and when the fish shakes earthquakes happen simple remember again the mythical tale of bahamut but they were thinking about it in the 13th century now under the fish god put darkness and beyond that human kind's knowledge does not reach <laughs> all of this is linked in a chain of cause and effect but this logic fails because of our own lack of knowledge and so we don't have the capacity to understand nor question the existence of god the creator so priyanka wonderfully interprets this mythological concept as the ecological concept of the whale fall yeah a whale fall occurs when the carcass of a whale has fallen onto the ocean floor at a depth greater than uh, about 100 meters i'd say In certain instances when a whale dies its body because of the enormous weight sinks to the bottom of the ocean where temperatures are low and the pressure is high and the decomposition of the whale is therefore really slow and supports entire ecosystems of deep sea creatures that feed on it the entire process can take about 70 years yeah almost as long as the lifespan of the whale itself <laughs> imagine the time living equals the time taken for it to dissolve think about it can we think of the bahamut from that story as a way to understand the whale fall the darkness under which is where scientific concepts are unable to reach hmm this is illustrated in her work in a persian miniature style by the way done on vasli paper with a miniature brush painting a whale with a miniature brush <laughs> that's the kind of patience you need but i doubt it'll take 70 years to finish this painting <laughs> look on the bottom right are the absurd creatures from an 18th century deccani illustration of the marvels of creatures and strange things existing from which a bahamut story is taken among which priyanka has added whale skeletal parts the top morph part is her version of a water body with discarded things which she sees in her sight <laughs> being from the sea city of mumbai her heart aches as slowly the sea is converted to land in a massive reclamation project like the coastal road 
and on the bottom left is the rock. Look at it, covered in plastic. Beautiful. A sight we usually witness now with the unprecedented amounts of waste that humans discard. The title of the work derives its name from the popular word Anthropocene, which translates into anthropo, human, or seen, geological time period, which is a word to describe this age in which human activity has created a significant impact on the climate and geological formation of the earth. The blank boxes are usually places where text is interjected in a miniature painting like this. But Priyanka, Priyanka feels differently. She feels like we have reached a point where there is too much to say, that nothing should really be said, but actually done. The scales on the right are the measurements of the depth of the sea level. And copper, yeah, real copper is used around the border. It is obviously subject to oxidation and change through time and exposure. Smart. Have you ever thought that all this thought and research goes into an artwork? This matter conceived by Priyanka is of huge concern and I am sure that you will leave this episode today feeling smarter and more aware about the environment. Because your environment is also my environment. Please subscribe to Art History Plus. Please like, comment and share these videos. Thank you.